iSpring Suite is your all-in-one toolkit for creating interactive e-learning courses ready for uploading to Moodle LMS. Let's make a course for language training with interactions, flashcards, and an assessment at the end. When you start with a blank presentation, the first thing to do is pick a design theme. Go to the Design tab and have a look at the theme library. Let's use the organic theme. And I like the wooden desktop variant, so let's choose that. If you like, you can create a title slide for your course, but I'd rather get right to the lesson, so I'm going to right click the slide, go to Layout, and select Title and Content. Now I'll add a title and go back to the Home tab to increase the font a little. We're going to be creating interactive flashcards on this slide, so we won't need this text box. Start by going to the Insert tab, go to the Shapes menu, and select Rounded Rectangle. Draw the rectangle, then type in the foreign word. Hit Ctrl A on your keyboard to select the text, and click here to change the text to black. Let's also go back to the Home tab and make the text bold. Now that we have a template shape, let's copy and paste it. Hit Ctrl A again and type in the English translation. Now you can drag the shape to cover the first one. Now that you have your slide populated with words, you can make the flashcards interactive. This involves using stretch and collapse animation effects with on click triggers. Please see the article in the description below for more details. Now we're ready to add more slides with iSpring content. Insert a new slide here, then go to the iSpring ribbon. Let's add an interaction to this slide. iSpring Visuals is a component of iSpring Suite and allows you to create four types of interaction. A book, directory, FAQ, and timeline. Let's make an FAQ. First, give it a title here. If you like, you can add an intro at the beginning and a summary at the end, but once again I'd like to get right to the material, so I'll click Add Question. Since this is a language FAQ, the question title will be a phrase in English and the answer will be the translation in the target language. You can also record or import a voiceover with a native speaker reading the phrase. Answers can also be supplemented with images, videos, and flash movies. Continue adding as many questions as you like here. You can preview your FAQ at any time by clicking Preview on the toolbar. Я бы хотел забронировать столик. Здравствуйте. Молодой человек. When you're satisfied, click Save and Return to Course. The interaction will appear as a placeholder on your slide. Now let's add another slide with some interactive web content. First, give it a title and delete the text area below. With iSpring Suite, you can add extra elements to slides like YouTube videos, web pages, and flash movies. Let's add a couple of YouTube videos. Just paste the link in the video link area and then click Preview to verify that the link works. Now click OK to insert it on your slide. A placeholder will appear on the slide, which can be moved and resized like any other object. Repeat the process again to add a second video. Now let's add another interaction. Insert a new slide and click Interaction on the iSpring toolbar. This time we'll make a directory interaction. Just like an FAQ, you can add new items to the directory and supplement them with additional media. Let's see how the preview looks. Хлеб. Завтрак. Стул. Счет. Once again, click Save and Return to Course when you're ready. Finally, at the end of our course, Let's add an assessment to see how well our learners did. Insert a slide and click Quiz on the iSpring toolbar. Now select Graded Quiz. iSpring Quizmaker offers 11 graded, 
and 12 survey questions to fully explore the knowledge and opinions of your users. You can also enhance questions with pictures and equations, audio, video, and flash movies. Let's take a look at this simple 10 question quiz I created for this course. You have the option of displaying an info slide at the beginning of the quiz. Just enter the intro and description in these fields. Switching over to slide view mode lets you arrange items on slides exactly the way your users will see them. You can choose from 40 built in themes and add a background image by clicking Format Background. Back here on the Form View tab, let's look at a few of the questions. The multiple choice question contains a question text and possible answer variants. You can also set individual feedback messages for each answer by going to Feedback and Branching and selecting By Answer from the drop down list. If you select By Question, the quiz provides feedback for correct, incorrect, and partially correct answers for question types that support partially correct answers. For example, the multiple response question contains more than one correct answer and thus provides feedback for all three possible outcomes. A sequence question prompts the user to put items in order, and a matching question prompts the user to match items in two columns. Finally, let's look at the hotspot question. The user is instructed to locate an area on an image, in this case, the fork. With these and all the other question types available in QuizMaker, you can choose the perfect way to test the knowledge of your users. If you'd like to learn more about QuizMaker's capabilities, check out the QuizMaker tutorials on the iSpring website. Now click Save and Return to Course to get back to your course. Now we're ready to preview our course by clicking the Preview button on the toolbar. A more dynamic preview is available after publishing, so let's look at that right now. To publish a course for Moodle, go to the LMS tab. The Mobile HTML5 option works fine on most devices, so we'll use that. Also make sure Zip Output is checked to create a single convenient package. Give the course a title and select a destination folder. Now let's go to the Learning Course tab. This is the information that will be sent to Moodle. Select SCORM 1.2 from the Type dropdown and fill in the title fields. You can also give the course a description and enter keywords if you like. To customize the progress and completion information, click Customize. We'll report the status to Moodle as passed failed, and we'll rate the number of slides viewed as 5 out of 5. The quiz will also be rated as part of the course. If you like, you can also configure score and timeout details. Click OK when you're done. Now we're ready to publish. Depending on how much media is in your course, it may take some time to publish. After the publishing process is complete, you will see a preview of your course. As you can see, our flashcards are working great. You can also see how your course will look on different devices and in different browsers. To upload it to Moodle, click Open Folder. And here's the zip file containing the published course, also known as a SCORM package. Now you're ready to go to Moodle. You can test out Moodle for free at Moodle.org. Go to Demo, and select Mount Orange School. Click Choose a Role, and select the Teacher Role. Click the first option here to log in. On the right, Moodle offers logins for different roles. Log in as a teacher. Now let's scroll down a ways and click the option to upload a file to our course. Over here on the right, click the button to turn editing on. From the folder containing your SCORM package, drag it over to Moodle. Make sure the icon says Move and not Copy. Select Add a SCORM package from the list of options and click Upload. It may take some time for your course to upload to the Moodle server. When it's done, click its name. Now click Enter to preview the course. 
I'll just take the course so we can check the results. Now back up here it shows that we passed and our score and percentage. Click the name of the course in the breadcrumbs to see the result. Here it shows a summary of our last attempt. If you like, you can also go to the Reports tab. Here's a list of example users, and there's our attempt. To have a closer look, click the attempt number. This screen shows more details. And that's it for this tutorial. Enjoy using iSpring to create all your Moodle content. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.